Right now we want to bring in a special guest joining us now, Democratic <laughs> Congressman Judy Chu, who represents Monterey Park. Thank you for being with us on this somber evening. We really appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, let's start. I want to, There's this message that you had during the press conference. It was such a powerful moment when you looked at the camera and spoke to your constituents and you said your message is to feel safe. The danger is gone. Can you talk about that? Well, we were so shocked and stunned to learn this morning about 10 lives being taken away from us due to this killer and 10 more being in the hospital. Um, so many of us couldn't believe it. But uh, what was even worse was the fear and terror in the eyes of our residents who didn't know if they should go to any of the Lunar New Year events or even send their children to school with an active shooter out there who could go to any event, any site and shoot them as well. So all day long, uh, law enforcement was uh, bringing forth more details, uh, the description of the gunman, the description of the van. And finally at five o'clock, there was such huge relief at the press conference when it was announced that this active shooter is gone. He, that he killed himself um, when he was surrounded. And I really have to commend law enforcement for what they did to bring this about. Congresswoman, this feels like deja vu all over again. Would you be going back to Washington hoping for some kinds of real solutions? And it is sort of interesting that the man had an illegal weapon. California has very restrictive yes. gun laws. So what can be the next step? Are we going to do this again, trying to move the ball towards some kind of true solution? Well, um, I've been involved in common sense gun solutions since Sandy Hook. Um, and we've had uh, these mass shootings but uh, uh, they've increased in frequency with Uvalde, with Buffalo, with uh, Club Q, and now it, in Monterey Park. And we know what the solutions are. Uh, we know that people like this should not have guns. And um, uh, we have a very common sense bill, the universal background check bill, uh, which does save lives and keeps guns out of the hands of violent um, and uh, criminal uh, persons, uh, but there are loopholes. And the loopholes are that you can evade the background check if you buy the guns online or at a gun show or from person to person. So we have to close those loopholes. In addition to the questions you posed in terms of how he got that gun, you talked about you know, we want to know, was mental illness involved? What was the motive? There's so many questions left to be answered. Do we know anything more since that news conference that happened earlier this afternoon? Well, I'm, I must say I found it interesting what your reporting showed, that he lived in Hemet and that he was a dance instructor. So he had that involvement somehow uh, with Stardance Studio. Uh, and um, I just wonder there are rumors out there that uh he was jealous of um some woman in there that was dancing and um that's why he did this we don't know uh and maybe he was looking for her didn't find her there and then went to the second uh dance studio trying to find her and tried to do it again before the people rested the gun away do you wonder whether or not uh, this kind of event will have any influence on your GOP colleagues in the House? Well, uh, I hope it does. We have to raise our voices because what this shows is that this isn't a faraway thing. It could be your, your constituents. It could be your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones who could be next on the list. If we don't stop these mass shootings, then all of us will be in danger. But if we are able to put this under control, just imagine a life where we could feel at peace without the danger of dying at the hands of a bullet and a, a gun. Representative Judy Chu, thank you so much for your time and your sentiments.